finna go sit in no cell for no vindictive ass bitch. Now let's read the incident report though. Let's read the incident report, y'all. Watch this shit. Everybody sit here. My wife is right there. And my daughter's over there too. We chilling. Let me read the incident report. Okay, let's read it. I responded, y'all ready? This is the police. Winder County Police Department. Shed alive three times, y'all. Let the world. Let me tell y'all about how the case work. For them to charge you, yeah, 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 we already know she. They playing with it early, y'all. Y'all, they won't even let me read. Oh my God, that shit get to me, y'all. Nah, y'all gotta hear this shit. Hell no. Nah. They said they trying to pause the lot. Everybody screenshot that shit. Yeah, every because they don't want y'all to hear it. Remember, for those who follow me, when I try to let y'all know what they was on from jump, they kicked me off my main page. Remember that? I can't go live on my big page because we was talking about this. And they kicked me off. Remember that? Pay attention. Let him know why I see, has eyes see clearly, bro. Judicial process in my ass, nigga. Watch this, y'all. I'm finna read the fucking incident report to y'all. And y'all let me know if this sound, this makes sense to y'all. Don't, don't, don't agree with me because you follow me. None of that. I'm about throat shock. I'm about throat shock reactivation, y'all. So don't agree with me or none of that. Just listen to the incident report and you let me know how it sounds to y'all. Well, they they thirsty, ain't they? I ain't trying to let y'all hear nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screenshot this shit, Joe. Because guess what? They sent the marshals to our crib, bro. You know, the marshals come in trying to kill motherfuckers. So what if we was there? We just happened to have been out of town when they came. You see what I'm saying? We at the crib. You come to the crib. What that's going to what that's gonna turn to? All because of this bitch lying. In the wind up police department. This is a... Big thing, y'all. This ain't no little shit. I thought it was just my baby mom and Alicia trying to work through her. When I seen the incident report, my lawyer sent me, because look, they want me to turn myself in tomorrow, y'all. My lawyer's like, man, we ain't turning the shit in on no motherfucking bullshit incident report. And y'all tripping. That motherfucker gonna have to kill a nigga. Well, y'all tripping. Let me read the incident report, G. Real life shit, nigga. Y'all better go arrest the real fucking sex traffickers and the real fucking pedophiles. Y'all got me fucked up around this bitch, boy. All right, so look, I'm finna read it, y'all. My mama even in the fucking incident report, y'all. Check this out. I responded to code 101 in Bethlehem, Georgia, 30620 on Thursday, May 6, 2021. She already lying. They already lying, y'all. Hold on, you know how they lying? Hold on, y'all. Let's look at it. This is an incident report, y'all. Hold on. Let, 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 hold on. Let me go to it. Let me go to my proof they lying about dates right off back, nigga. Right off back, they lying about dates. Boom. Let's get that up. Incident report right here. Okay, so. Look, it says right here in the incident report. Georgia 30620 is the zip code on Thursday, May 6, 2021. May 6, you see what they on with me, right? Because they know I'm this shit finna come out. May it says that the police, just the police officer, right? Says that she responded to a call May 6, 2021. Now, right away, they lying. Because they basically said this incident took place on May 6. What does that say right there? $2,000 for child support. Zaza was given when? May 4th at 424 p.m. So the incident didn't happen May 6th. The incident happened the very next day, May fucking 5th. Y'all already lying in the incident report. You put May 6th. Anybody that just screenshot the incident report, it says May 6th. Look at that cash app. I gave her that May 4th. I picked my son up. That night, she said, bring him back. We got into an argument. The next day, I had to take him back. That was May 5th. They already lying in the incident reports and it happened May 6th. Let's keep going, though. Let's keep going, though. Hold on. Let's keep going. Let's go back to the incident report. Let's put that back up there. There you go. 
Anybody can screenshot it so you can zoom in for yourself. All right. Now, also, all right, let's keep going. It says, Darshell Smith told me her ex-boyfriend, Rashad White, well, her ex-boyfriend slash baby daddy, Rashad White, which would be my full name. My full name is Rashad Jamal White. I don't honor no white. That's why y'all know me as Rashad Jamal. Her, her baby daddy, Rashad White, will, will not return their one year, their two year old son. So this is when they called, when she called and said, I kidnapped him. Okay? Y'all with me? Stay with me. It gets better. Darshell told me that her ex boyfriend slash baby daddy, Rashad White, will not return their, their son. Darshell said that the baby was born out of wedlock and Rashad is listed on the birth certificate. Now, hold on. Let me break down wedlock for y'all. In Georgia, if you have a baby and you don't marry the woman, that's considered wedlock. Now, what I want y'all to peep, right? What I want y'all to peep is how, is how, hold on. What I want y'all to peep specifically is how it says that she, he told them. So my baby mama told the police, yeah, that my son was born out of wedlock. What does that mean? That means she already fucking knew the laws of the state. My baby mama older than me, right? Vibrating low. So she let me have this baby with her, take care of the baby, knew damn well that by me not going to get him legitimized, if she she knew damn well by me going not, never going to get him legitimized, if she ever wanted to call the police and say I stole him, she would be able to do that. If she didn't know that, why the fuck would she tell the police that? That means that was already her ace of spade. I'm just showing you how vindictive this hoe is. Let's keep going. All right. Darshell Smith told us that the baby was born out of wedlock and Rashad is listed on the birth certificate. All right. It says Darshell then said that Rashad, her and Rashad broke up about eight months ago. So that's true when she said that. And he moved out. That's true. Then it says, well, it was longer than eight months, but we she at least put in there that we was broke up. So that's true. But then it says, it said as he moved out. And then she said that she heard from Rashad a few times. She said she heard from Rashad a few times during the first week of him moving out. Stay with the story, y'all. It's the incident report. They got, they got the charge put on me. Listen to this bullshit. She said that, that the communication she, she got from Rashad was there via text. FaceTime and phone call. Darshell said Rashad never inquired about his son. He was only trying to reconcile their relationship. This the incident report. So she's in there lying to the police telling them she ain't heard from me in eight months. And the last time she did hear from me, I was trying to get back with her. I ain't asked shit about my son. Whole time I'm married, nigga. And got the text of her saying you can't see your son if you ain't gonna leave that bitch. Which is my wife that y'all all know and love. But she in the incident report line trying to make me like a deadbeat daddy saying she ain't heard from a nigga. And the last time she heard from me, I wanted her, her ass back. Lies. Smooth for love against. You get what I'm saying? Let's keep going though. All right. Then it says. Darshell says she has not heard from Rashad for over seven months. Seven months. She says she speaks with Rashad's sister frequently. That would be true. Remember I told y'all she wasn't letting me see my son, but she was letting my sister see him. So that's true. She admitted that. Check this out. She says she speaks with Rashad's sister frequently, though, and she found out that Rashad's mother, Sharon Watson, was in town from Chicago visiting. Listen to this. This is an incident report. Y'all scream and shot that shit yourself and zoom in. Listen, she says that, and remember I told y'all I had flew my mom in town for Mother's Day week. So look, she like, she said that uh, Rashad's mother, Sharon Watson, was in town from Chicago visiting. Darshell said Sharon and Rashad contacted her to see if they could. Could... That's a lie. That would be a lie. She, I didn't hit my baby mama up. My baby mama hit my mama phone because me and her wasn't even talking because she wouldn't let me see him for eight months because I was with my wife on some bitter baby mama shit, okay? So when she did say, hey, I heard your mom in town, 
That's when I got upset because I'm like, hold on, why the fuck can I only sit with my mama in town? I ain't no fucking deadbeat daddy. You know what I'm saying? You the deadbeat. But I'm not going to argue with you. My mama in town, she ain't never been to Atlanta. I'm just, we just going to grab and go with the flow. Let's keep going. So then she says, Rashad gave $2,000 for child support, which I did. She admitted that, okay? And it says, which is not court order. She, so that's in there. Then it says, on Monday, May 3rd, 2021... Okay, well, she said that they came. She said, Rashad, Darshell said that they came, meaning me and my mom and my wife and my daughter, Lele. That's who we went to get my son. We all went to get him. Said that we came and picked up Zaza on Monday, May 3rd, 2021. Hold on, y'all. Let's stay there for a second. Monday, the more lies in the incident report. Monday, May 3rd, 2021, right? Okay, cool. Let's look at this. Let's look at this again, y'all. She just said, hold on, hold on. You can't rechange this shit neither. This is the fuck y'all wrote. Boom. It says in the incident report, you can't change your dates. I done had cases before, nigga. Whatever you say sticks, nigga. That's why they say whatever you say can will be get held against you in a court of law. Look, she says, hold on, hold on. Let me go back to it. Okay. Rashad and Sharon, and they came to pick up Zaza on Monday, May 3rd, 2021. What the fuck that say right there? May 4th, 2021. Not May 3rd, nigga. May 4th. May 3rd, my mama was not even in town. Pay attention, y'all. Pay attention, y'all. This is the incident report, so you can't tell no lies. Dates, times, all that shit's supposed to be accurate, nigga. May 3rd is when they said we came to get Zaza. We came to get Zaza May 4th. Okay? That's when she got the cash out right there. I stood in front of her ass and cashed up her $2,000. 4.24 p.m. for my son, nigga. To get him for one week. Let's keep reading the incident report. Okay? Let's pull it back up for those who want to screenshot this shit. All right. It says, Darshell said they playing with the lie. We're going to have to take this bitch to YouTube. They got me fucked up. Okay. It says, hold on. Okay. Darshell said that last night she received a call from Rashad stating he was bringing Zaza back home. He even sent the video of Zaza dressed and ready to go home. Hold on, y'all. Do you see how the bitch just left out a whole storyline? In the incident report, it says, I gave her $2,000, and me, my mom, my wife, we came to pick him up May 3rd. You know you didn't fuck that right. You, 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 you know you didn't fuck that right. You, nah, 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 nah. We came and got him May 4th. Y'all talking about May 3rd. You know you didn't fuck that right. Let's keep going. Did y'all say, hold on. Lies never make sense, y'all. That's when you know a motherfucking lying. Let's stay with the lies. Okay. It says, she says, I gave her $2,000 for child support, which is not court order. That's the truth. When she said that it's not court order. Then she said, Darshell said that, that, that last night, so remember, at the beginning, the officer said that she responded to a call May 6, 2021. So last night would be May 5th. More lies. More lies. More lies. By 1 p.m. May 5th, my son was at the police station. That shit is on video document. Seems like they lying all about the dates. The police in on it. This is the shit I'm trying to point out. Let's keep going. All right? Now it says... She said Rashad... Hey, bitch ass, steady doing that shit, man. On my soul, we gonna send a whole planet up, let y'all play with me like that. Y'all say trying to fuck with the live so motherfuckers don't know what the fuck y'all on down in Wyander, Georgia. You feel me? Hold on. So look. Darshell said that after I gave her the money, y'all, she don't say nothing about us getting into it and her calling saying she want our son back. She left the whole story out. 
She just said, I gave her $2,000 and then I called her later that night saying I was going to drop my son off. She said, I even sent the video. Okay, bitch, you left out the whole story. Why would I pick my son up, give you $2,000, ain't seen him in seven months and then call you back a few hours later and say, I'm going to drop him off? No, when he got over here with me and my wife, he you, call, you FaceTime checking on him every fucking 10 minutes. And then you heard my son call my wife Mommy Kia, because her name is Kia. And he's over there like, Mommy Kia, go look at my Instagram right now, y'all. Go look at my Instagram right now, nigga. The video of when my son was at my house with me and my wife, we was playing blocks, niggas, on my Instagram right now, nigga. Right now, nigga. Right. And she, she got mad on some vindictive baby mama shit and said, bring my son home. I said, fuck you, I ain't bringing shit home because I just gave you $2,000 and we agreed to Sunday. My mama just got in town today, bitch. You ain't getting shit back. Fuck you and I hung up. That sound more like it, right? That's an argument that took place. Why would I just call out the blue and say I'm bringing my son back? Fuck out of here. You said bring him back and I said no. And I had to call Fulton County Police Department who came to our house. And you know what I'm saying? He was like, no, nah, don't go out there to wind it because they be racist. If I was you, I would just take the son back tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And I would meet at a random police station, which we did. We didn't meet in wind. We met at Swanee. Let's keep going, though. Okay? I just want to point that lie out. She ain't mentioned none of that, y'all. I just gave her 2000 picked my son up. Then three hours later, bitch, I'm like, I want to drop him off. Okay, yeah, you right. Let's keep going with the lies. Okay. Now, she said she received a video that night saying he was dressed. He's on his way home. In the video, you hear Rashad tell Zaza that he was going home and his mama was going to be giving that $2,000 back. Facts. I did tell her ass that if he ain't my son, bitch, give me my bread back. Fuck is you talking about? Y'all got me fucked up. If y'all going to play me like that, run me my bread back. I'm not going to pay for no motherfucking baby that I can't see. Who the fuck y'all think y'all playing with? Y'all told me on the phone since I had him out of wedlock, meaning I hadn't married her, he's not my son. So, right. Okay, well, give me my money back. Guess what they said? We ain't got nothing to do with that. Facts. Let's keep going, though. Okay. In the video, you hear Rashad tell Zaza that he was going home and his mom was going to get her $2,000 back. This more, this AM, because I don't like to use the word, Rashad and Sharon agreed to meet Darshell at Main Event Police Station in Swanee to return the baby back to her. I'm reading the incident report, y'all. Now, the very next line, another lie. Watch this. Then Darshell said Rashad and Sharon then told her she was not ever going to see her son again. That is when she called the police. You just said in one sentence that that next AM, me and my mom agreed, told you we was going to meet you at the police station. But in the very next sentence, you say me and my mom then called you back and said you ain't going to never see him again. What? Lies. Lies. That don't even make sense. Bitch, you just said we said we finna meet you at the police station. So how the fuck you gonna call back an hour later and say we ain't, you ain't getting him back? No, bitch, I told you you wasn't getting his ass back when we was arguing on the phone. And you was like, I'm gonna call the police. And I said, fuck the police. I don't honor they man-made laws, nigga. Fuck them. This is my son. The police can't tell me shit about my motherfucking son when I'm out here being a father and I ain't got to see his ass. Fuck 12, nigga. They don't run shit, nigga. That's what said to you the night before after your ass said bring my baby back. Because you don't like him over here with me and my wife because you jealous. Oh, jealous ass, vindictive ass. Ooh, almost went there with you on this motherfucker. You feel me? I ain't gonna do that. Let me keep staying on focus with the, with the lie. All right, and the police helping her concoct the shit, nigga, because of who I am. Check this out. Nigga, it say that's when she called the police. So keep in mind, y'all, this all is documenting what right now? Her saying I kidnapped my our son. Stay with the story. Next st sentence, y'all. We on the next sentence, y'all. Check this out. The, this is the police. I made contact with Sharon, which is my mom. I made contact with Sharon, and she told me that she was here visiting Rashad and that Darshell allowed them to get her grandson. Facts. I could hear a male in the background talking over Sharon. Here they go with the lives again, y'all. Now, check this out. This is the police. The male took the phone from Sharon and told me he was the baby's daddy. Lies. First off, so you telling me you was talking to my mama and I just snatched the phone on my mama's hand and started talking to you. You lying. You trying to paint a picture to make me seem aggressive and disrespectful. I come from a black family. My mama would have slapped the shit out of me if I tried to snatch any phone out of her goddamn hand. That ain't what the fuck happened. You was talking to my mama and then you asked to speak with me and my mama gave me the phone. 
And then when I got on the phone, I didn't say I'm no baby daddy. Look how disrespectful this white racist ass police bitch is to wrote the shit up. I said I'm the father, ho. I said I'm the father. I ain't no goddamn baby daddy. I'm a father, bitch. It's a difference. I ain't no motherfucking baby daddy. Don't let me no baby daddy. But they so fucking racist. I want y'all to pay attention to the words they're using. Pay attention, y'all. It gets deeper. Now, I made contact with Sharon and she told me that she was here visiting Rashad and that Darshell allowed them to get the baby. I could hear a male in the background talking over Sharon. The male then took the phone from Sharon and told me that he was the baby's daddy. I asked if he was Rashad White. Next sentence. Next paragraph, y'all. He began rambling on about, you gonna respect me. This is an incident report. Police say this. He began rambling on about, you gonna respect me, and I'm anti-police. You goddamn right I told that bitch on the phone, you gonna respect me, I'm anti-police. But look what else she put. She said, he began rambling on about, you gonna respect me, I'm anti-police, I was abused by the police years ago. I allowed him to rant for about five to ten more minutes. Now let's pause right there. Why would the police put that in the incident report? That ain't got shit to do with the incident. Why did she document that? Because she wanted everybody to know in her department that I'm a fucking black revolutionary that's against their ass. So she made sure to document that. Hear me clearly, y'all. They racist now. She documented that. And notice, when the bitch documented it, she didn't even tell what made me say that to her. She made it seem like I just snatched the phone from my fucking mama and told her, you're going to respect me. I'm anti-police. No. When I got on the phone, she asked, was I'm the father? I said, yeah, I'm the father. She started explaining to me that, that I'm not the father because I ain't married her. So, of course, as a black father, I'm going to be on the phone like, what you mean I'm not the father? I signed a birth certificate. I'm not from Georgia. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Where the fuck, when you sign a birth certificate, you're the father. So, I'm on the phone with the police fighting for my motherfucking son. You white racist bitch. Give a fuck if y'all watching the live. Fuck the whole one in the police department. That bitch gonna burn to the ground fucking with me. Y'all got us fucked up, nigga. I'm on the phone checking y'all. I'm the father and y'all telling me that he ain't my son. How I'm supposed to talk to you? And guess what she started doing, y'all? The white racist bitch started disrespecting me, nigga. You ain't the fucking father. Listen, listen here, boy. But she left all that out. That's when I said, man, you gonna respect me. That's exactly what I told her. That's exactly what I told her. I said, you gonna respect me because I'm the fucking nigga. You gonna respect me because I'm the father. You're not gonna talk to me on the phone like I'm some random nigga. She on the phone talking to me like, I, like, I, like I'm a criminal that day. Listen here, boy. You're not the father. What? Like I told her ass. You gonna respect me on the first. I told her just like this. First off, I don't care about your motherfucking badge. You gonna respect me. That's my son. That's what made me say that to her. But she left all that out. You on the phone. This is my son. Even if you calling me off of my baby mama said, the bitch lied. You can see through that to see that that's baby mama drama. You know damn well we ain't kidnap my son. If we kidnap my son, we wouldn't be talking to your ass on the phone. Kidnappers don't get on the phone to talk to the police. And y'all know that. I'm a fucking real father. Y'all don't like that. I ain't gonna let y'all talk to me no anywhere on the phone because you the police. Goofy ass, racist ass bitch. Nigga, fuck y'all and them U.S. Marshals that came to the crib too. On my soul, y'all ass can die too. Fuck y'all think this is, boy. This shit is injustice, y'all. Do y'all see this incident report? She, uh, she gonna put that shit in there. He said he, and yeah, you goddamn right. You ain't tell they ass in the incident report how you on the phone talking to me like I ain't pushing my, my motherfucking nuts. And you talk to my mama the same way. Go watch the actual YouTube video, y'all. You hear my mama on the phone and the police on the phone disrespecting her. Nigga, left all that shit out. But you gonna put in the incident report, he say he's anti-police. You got, I am anti-police, nigga. Real stepper, nigga. See, y'all thought I don't be on that with the, I be on that with they ass, boy. You see she put that shit in the incident report, nigga. Nigga. These niggas be on YouTube, nigga, acting like that. Nigga, they get in front of the police and niggas be in perfect compliance like young Pharaoh ass, nigga. Ain't no compliance with 12 over here, nigga. I'ma tell they ass the same shit I tell they ass in the lecture, nigga. Smoking dead cops, you goddamn right, boy, my son, nigga. You feel me, y'all? She ain't put none of that, though. He, he said I better respect him and he anti-police. But why did I say that to you? 
I got on the phone trying to talk to you as a father to a cop. You on the phone telling me like I'm your son or something. Like I'm your son. It's my motherfucking son, bitch. You can't tell me shit about my son because you got a badge on, ho. Fuck your badge and the oath you took to the badge, bitch. This is my son. Y'all can't tell me shit about my son. Nigga, how I supposed to respond? Any real black father or any real black mother who just paid $2,000 to get their child not even eight hours ago go respond the same fucking way. Nigga, but let's keep reading this fuckery. Nigga, so y'all can see what they own with me, boy, and my family, boy. Fact, he began rambling. Look. All that real shit I told her, y'all, she 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 etched it off as me rambling. Pay attention, y'all. All the real shit I told 12 on the phone in the incident report, she etched it off as me rambling. Peep gay. He began rambling on about you gonna respect me. I'm anti-police. I was abused by police years ago. I allowed him to rant for five to ten. Remember, she's still calling it ranting, y'all. Ain't no ranting, bitch. I'm telling your ass y'all time is up, ho. All that injustice, y'all down here killing us the wrong way. Manipulating our people on every level. Yeah, that shit over with. Motherfucker told your ass what time it is. No motherfucking rambling, bitch. Anyway, he began rambling on about you gonna respect me. I'm anti-police. I was abused by the police years ago, which I was. I allowed him to rant for five to ten minutes. When, I, when he stopped ranting, I asked him if the baby was born out of wedlock. He told me yes. So that means I still comply with you, you goofy bitch. I did ask him if he ever went before a judge to get any parental rights, and he told me no. Right. Why would I go before a judge when I don't know that shit? I'm not from Georgia, you goofy bitch. Fuck. Y'all ain't tell me that neither. Y'all didn't even let me get a fucking DA, DNA test for my son in the hospital. I still ain't never took a blood test for my son on my soul, but I signed a birth certificate, nigga. Boy, y'all got me fucked up, nigga, on my soul. Look, right? I told him that he needed to make arrangements to return the baby to his mother. Otherwise, he would be facing criminal charges. Let's keep in mind that the mother of my child literally said I can get my son. Only to the next day call the police and say that I kidnapped him. Okay, that's what she did. We can attack her too, but no. Let's attack the system. Look how the system handled that. Look how the police handled that, y'all. This is how they treat black fathers, y'all. Real black fathers, real husbands, y'all. Real black leaders, y'all. That's what we attacking. Fuck what my baby mama did. Why the fuck the police helped the whole do it? Let's get deeper. I told him that if he did not make arrangements to return the baby... He would be facing criminal charges. If you know I'm the father, why would you try to charge me criminally? That's called being thirsty to put a case on me because I'm a black activist. Y'all got my whole name on here, Rashad Jamal White. So that means y'all look me up. Y'all know who Rashad Jamal is. Y'all think y'all slick. Let's keep reading. Okay. I told him that if he didn't bring the baby back, he would be facing criminal charges. As he does not have any rights to the child per Georgia law. What? Nigga, this is an incident report, bro. This is, bro, listen, y'all. Y'all don't feel me, y'all. Gee. Do y'all see what they saying? Folk, do y'all see what they saying, G? Folk, if y'all like, on some real shit, G, like, if y'all gonna stand with me, stand with me. If you ain't get the fuck out the live, G. All the motherfuckers out there, I help, I help the whole planet. Y'all ain't gonna help me. I stand and fight for y'all. Y'all ain't gonna stand and fight. Y'all can't see through this shit. I'm just saying. Don't believe shit. I'm saying. Y'all can't see through this shit. I ain't even got to the molestation part. Oh, it's coming. We're almost there. We almost there. We. It's a lot of fuckery. That's why I point this shit out. Look, y'all. She told me per your fuck Georgia, nigga. Nigga, we finna burn Georgia. To the ground on my son, on my species, nigga. Fuck Georgia and they marshal y'all can see it on my soul. And we gonna fight y'all ass back behind this. And you better know I'm letting the whole planet see this incident report.
So y'all try to kill me, my wife, my kids, because we going to stand on our ground. We not going to sit in no cell behind no bullshit like that. Y'all got us fucked up, nigga. Y'all got us fucked up, nigga. Lying in the whole incident report. Y'all, can you do y'all feel my pain? Now, hold on. Let's keep going, y'all. I told him that he ain't had no, he ain't the, no rights to the child per George. Nigga, fuck Georgia, nigga, in the fucking forefathers of that. Nigga, fuck the whole nigga. On my soul, boy. On my soul, y'all got the right one, boy. On my soul, y'all got the right one. I'm going to kill every one of you bitches, boy. Come in. Come me and my family get on that shit on my soul. That's how it's going. Ain't no other way for it to go, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Y'all already took my son. Now y'all trying to hit me with a bullshit case the same day. Let's get to it, y'all. Let's keep reading. It literally says, Rashad told me, listen, she even admitted it. Rashad told me that he called Fulton County, which we did. And he was told that he would not be charged, which they did tell us that because Fulton real. Fulton ain't racist. They black, y'all. Fulton like, why the fuck would they charge you with fucking kidnapping? That's what the cop told me when we called him that night. He said they cannot charge you with kidnapping. You're the father. They can make you get a baby back, but they cannot charge you with kidnapping. You're the father. But guess what? They so racist in Winder, Georgia, that they were still trying to charge me and my, not just me, y'all, my mama too, y'all, and my wife, y'all. I'm going I'm to I'm show y'all this shit. Check this out. It say Rashad told me that he called Fulton County, which I did that night before, and he was told he would not be charged. I told him, meaning I told Rashad he was misinformed. And if he did not bring the baby home, that I was going to issue warrants for his arrest. That's how y'all see me at the police station. And I feel like they, they punked me that day, y'all, because I'm the father by, on, on the birth certificate. And y'all literally was finna charge me. It's on here. Y'all say y'all had warrants. Listen, it say Rashad agreed to meet Darshell at the Swanee Police Department at 1.30 p.m. Facts. Now, let's keep reading. Now, check this out, y'all. Check this out, y'all. While I was on, this is when the child molestation comes in there, y'all. While I was on the scene, keyword scene, y'all. So that means she got called to the scene because the mother of my child originally said I kidnapped our son. Remember that, y'all. Now I look at the last fucking paragraph. While I was on the scene, Darshell told me that her 10-year-old daughter, Tynosh Jacobs, who I nicknamed Pocahontas, I raised them kids, Told her that Rashad made her touch his private area. Then it says, Darshell told me, well, Tynosh Jacobs told me that Rashad Jamal grabbed her hand and made her touch him. She was moving her hand over her crouch area. So I guess that's basically they saying a little girl tried to say I took her hand and made her jack me off, y'all. That's what this, this is in the incident report. And notice, this all happened, y'all, on the scene. On the scene, y'all. On this fucking scene. Let's keep reading. It then says, I told Darshell that I was going to interview Tainaj. And I... I believe a forensic interview needs to be done. I told Darshell... I told Darshell that if Tainaj starts to tell her details about the incidents, not to question her about it, to just listen to what she has to say. Oh, we, we skipped over something, y'all. She says, the little girl says, Rashad made me touch him and rub, and, and she said, she said this happened more than one, once, and he always had pants on. But she also just said that I made her touch my private area, y'all, until white stuff came out. And then she turns around in the next sentence and says, but I always had pants on. So if I always say white stuff means nut. That's what you say. You said I jacked you. I asked you to jack me off a 10 year old girl. So I took a 10 year old girl and I asked you to jack me off. And I told you to jack me off until I nutted. And you said that. But you said I always had my pants on. So how the fuck if I had you jack me off to nut came out? How the fuck I had my pants on? How was you aware of that? How did you see that? And not only did the little girl say that. 
my baby mama said it too. She said it happened several times. So, okay, baby mama, if this happened several times, why you ain't say nothing? If this happened several times, why, why that wasn't an initial call? Why would you even let me pick my son up? You called the police saying that I kidnapped him. And when we brought the, so my son back to the police station, the kidnapping charge ain't stick. Then all of a sudden, oh, 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 oh yeah, and I want to add on, he touched my daughter. Who the fuck does that, y'all? And, and on top of that, what police department going to let some shit like that go through, nigga? Bitch, you just called us and said he touched, he kidnapped your son. Now while we on the scene, and now that we finna drop the kidnapping charge because the baby's on the way back, now all of a sudden, you want to add on, he touched your daughter? And no, he didn't even touch your daughter because you saying he asked your daughter to touch him. Most molestations, come on, y'all. Listen, they didn't charge me with they didn't charge me with no statutory rape. They didn't brother polite me. They didn't hit me with no rape. Cause guess what? If they would have hit me with, if they would have brother polited me and hit me with a fucking rape, they would have had to prove that there's no semen, y'all. There's the little the little girl ain't been touched. Her hymen, none of that. None of that, y'all. So they gave me some shit that don't need proof. Now go look in Georgia law. Go look in child molestation laws in Georgia, nigga. You don't need proof to get convicted. All it takes is some is hearsay. Nigga, y'all got me fucked up, nigga. On top of that, y'all, I asked my lawyer, I said, well, if all, if all it takes is hearsay for a child molestation charge or conviction, then let's do a polygraph test. I'll take a polygraph test and let the little girl take one, and I want her mama to take one. Guess what Georgia said, y'all? Polygraph tests are not admissible in court. What the fuck? Y'all trying to railroad me then, nigga? How the fuck you gonna even charge me with some shit a motherfucker said with no evidence to back it up? Ain't no semen, ain't no nothing, nigga. And then I say, okay, well, let's take a polygraph test then. If, if it's a hearsay case, then the little girl and her mama, I want polygraphs on them. I'll take a polygraph. Let's see who the fuck lying. Guess what they, look it up y'all self, y'all. Look in Georgia law, bro. Bro, this bitch finna go to the moon. They got me fucked up. It's already in game anyway. We know why they coming like this, y'all. Because of who I am, y'all. Come on, man. This ain't no brother polite shit. He had semen, residue, girl went, went to the guard. Oh, that ain't none of that, nigga. And guess what, y'all? Even in brother polite situation, y'all, the nigga went under investigation. Nobody has investigated me. Nobody came to talk to us, get our sides. None of that, nigga. Ain't no investigation took place. How the fuck y'all gonna send U.S. Marshals to my motherfucking house, nigga, with no investigation, nigga? Twelve motherfuckers came out and accused T.I. and Tiny of touching them. They, they ass ain't in jail, nigga. It's being investigated. That means if you're going to make that accusation, I get my legal team, let my legal team gather our evidence. They show y'all this shit to drop the charges, nigga. Y'all ain't do none of that. How the fuck y'all charged me with it and then turned around and sent the marshals to my crib? How does it get to that point? And look at this incident report. This motherfucker all over the place. You hear me? Now, hold on. It gets deeper, y'all. It get deeper. Let's keep reading. She said, I just told her to listen to what the little girl had to say. Now, on the last part of the incident report, let me pull it up. This is the last page. The second. It's only two pages, y'all. That's the second page. Screenshot it. Screenshot it for your goddamn self. So you can read it your goddamn self. All right. Look what it says. It says, Rashad. Uh, this is what the police said. The police said, Rashad is no longer in the home. Therefore, there was no immediate threat. Therefore, it will be forwarded to investigations. I told Darshell an investigator would contact her. Then it says, I received a call from Darshell around 2 p.m. She told me Rashad had not shown up at the Swanee police station with the baby. That's a fucking lie. She says, I tried to call Rashad and it went to voicemail. More lies. I did call Sharon and she told me they were eight minutes out. That's a fact. Now check this out. Watch this illegal shit they did. She said, I told Sharon... That if they are not at the Swanee Police Department within 10 minutes, I was taking out warrants. Listen, y'all. So she basically was telling my mama that if we don't drop this baby off, they was going to charge me with kidnapping and my mom with kidnapping. In my case, my mom is a fucking suspect, y'all. I'm going to show y'all that too. All right? Her name is on my shit. Nigga, and that was my mama first time in Georgia, nigga. She just got off the plane, and my vindictive baby mama trying to hit her with kidnapping charges, nigga. 
Do y'all see this reflection? Now, peep game. It says, I re it says, I told Sharon, which is my mama, that if they are not at the Swanee Police Department, I was taking out warrants on all of them. She said, I didn't have the phone number pinged. So to, to make sure that they were headed towards Swanee and not out of state. So that means when she had the phone number pinged, that means she motherfucking tapped my mama phone and my phone. That's against the law. That's illegal. I don't have no warrant out for my arrest. You can't tap a motherfucker phone unless they got a warrant out for their arrest. But these motherfuckers so crooked, they don't mind putting that shit in the incident report. The fucking cop told, said right here, I pinged the phone to make sure they wasn't leaving the state. What the fuck am I going to leave the state for when I live in the state? But because they believe my vindictive baby mama, they just knew I'm trying to kidnap them. Now check this out. They say, uh, I, I pinged the number to make sure they weren't headed out of state. The number was pinged in Swanee. We, the, we didn't call the Wanda Police Department and they told me that she had the baby with her. There were no charges taken out on Rashad for interference with child custody. That would have been a kidnapping charge that they want to hit me with. Then she goes on to say, the mother did not want to pursue criminal charges. We wonder why. Because they hit me with this one. Check this out. I did not have enough probable cause to take the child molestation charge either. Peep that. The officer who wrote the incident report says, I did not have enough probable cause to take the child molestation charge. Sergeant Page, whoever the fuck his bitch ass is, contacted criminal investigations and notified them of the situation. Detective Thomas Steele then went in there and forwarded this incident report. He took it to the judge. The judge and Winder signed off on it, and that's why they now have a warrant out for my arrest. And the warrant been out since May 25th, my niggas. And we didn't even know, y'all. Because look, ancestors, ancestors with us, we didn't bump into 12 and all that. Y'all know that. We didn't even know nothing about no warrant. When we found out, I went live and niggas knew when I, when we found out, that's when y'all knew. Peep game, y'all. Look at this, y'all. I want y'all to see the suspects. I want y'all to see the suspects. The names of the suspects. Look at the suspects, y'all. So what y'all need to know is this. Screen record that. So basically that day, then when I had to drop my son off at the police station, they were trying to charge me with kidnapping and child molestation and cruelty to a child. That's three felonies, y'all. All off my baby fucking mama. Now, peep gang. They couldn't get me on the kidnapping because we brought the baby back. So guess what they did? Well, since we didn't get them on kidnapping, we going to get them on this. Boy, I'm from Chicago, boy. Police will put a case on you quick like that. Now, you know how I know that the police did this on purpose? Because the officer was already racist toward me, which is why she said in the incident report, he said he's anti-police. Now, now, let me show y'all something. The reason she said that is because they plan on killing me in there. They want to kill me in there, y'all. So she let all her people know that I'm anti-police. So that way, when any U.S. marshal see the warrant, any fucking officer see the warrant, they think I'm some violent, radical motherfucker that's like, fuck the police. Well, I am a violent, radical motherfucker that's like, fuck the police, but that's only because the police be killing us. But other than that, I'm not no violent, radical motherfucker that's out here hurting our planet. I'm not putting drugs like I'm not hurting our people. I'm healing the planet. I'm helping people remember who they are. And I give back. What the fuck is y'all talking about? And they can't take that. So when I was on the phone fight for my rights as a black father, she ain't like that. So her little racist, honky ass wrote in the incident report, he said he anti-police. Do y'all get it now? So that guess what? When they cuff me, they can try to beat the fuck out of me or kill me. Now, peep this out. Winder Police is in Barrow County, Georgia, y'all. Now, check this out. Ain't it a coincidence? Ain't this a coincidence, y'all? Barrow County, one of the most racist counties in Georgia, along with Glenn County. Glenn County is where Ahmaud Aubrey was killed at, and they let his killers get away. Barrow County, inmate deaths. Let me pull it up for y'all to see. All right, let's get this down for a second. Stop sharing. Short, flip it around. Flip it around. Barrow County inmate deaths, nigga. Because if I was to go to Winder, that's what I would go. I would be in Barrow County. Check this out. Check this out, y'all. It's so much of this shit. Look, no foul play suspected in death of Barrow County inmate who died in a hospital. That's one. Let's go to another one. Let's go to another one, y'all. Let's go to more. Boy, they got, they didn't kill so many black people down in Barrow County, y'all, and Glen County, y'all. Look, man dies after being tasered outside in Barrow County Jail. 
Come on, y'all. This is what they own in Barrow County. And it's the same county that just put that fucking fake case on me, nigga. Y'all can't put two and two together? On top of that, on top of that, y'all, she's already put in the incident report, he anti-police. And look what they doing to motherfuckers in here. Look what they doing to people. Man dies after being tasered outside Barrow County Jail. I just showed y'all two, y'all. I ain't got to keep going. Look, look. 2016, that's a death. 2018, that's two deaths, y'all. Right there, that's still open. And look, there go a third one. GBI investigating Barrow County inmate death. And when I told y'all that the GBI, they always let Barrow County and Glenn County and these other little racist-ass, hick-ass counties get away with killing our ass, nigga. That's what I was showing y'all when I was showing y'all about the GBI. Remember now, hold on, hold on. Come on, man. Look, no foul play suspected for dead inmate. Niggas stay dying in their jail. Drop a nine if you can hear me. Leave out and come back in. Drop a nine if y'all hear me. If you don't hear me, leave out, come back in. Boy, this is an emergency right now. Boy, they trying to kill me, boy. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is, nigga. That's exactly what it's called. Nigga, look at the way the incident report written up. Come on now. Now check out where it's located at, y'all. Look where it's located. Look at where it's located. Look at all the shit they got going on. All these deaths that have been happening in a fucking county. And it's never no foul play suspected. And it's the same county to just put that fake case on me and help my baby mama out. Remember, I told y'all who the GBI is. They are the KKK. Remember. Put that in. Check this out. Look at this. Remember, I showed y'all this article. Remember this. The troubling history of the Georgia Bureau now investigating the Ahmad Arbor. Barrow County and Glenn County is some of the most racist counties in Georgia. They stay killing niggas and hanging niggas, literally. And they always get away with it because the GBI handles all the investigations. I'm connecting dots. Y'all get what I'm saying? So if they was to try to kill me in their jail or say I die or whatever, guess who would investigate it, y'all? The GBI. And the GBI has been infiltrated by the KKK. So all the GBI is going to do is say, yeah, we didn't see no foul play. Do y'all see what they own? Um, remember in the police report, she already stated, he said he's anti-police. What do you think they, what the police would do with me if they get their hands on me? In a little small county like that. <clears throat> two hours away. Winder County, Winder Jail, Barrow County Jail is two hours away from Atlanta. Gee, I need y'all to stand with me right now. Facts. We're going to blow the DA up. We're going to let the ass know. This is how we rocking, nigga. Period. Like, to see not the incident report out, they can't fool y'all. That's what I wanted y'all to see, the incident report. So y'all can fuck what I'm saying. I want y'all to see the black and white. And this is the incident report that got me charged with child molestation, y'all. Keep in mind, I'm married. A married man. Now, let's get deeper, though. Let's get deep on the incident report. Let me show y'all something real quick that y'all probably ain't pay attention to. It says that this took place between May 6, 2019, all the way to May 6, 2021. Okay? Let's get this down real quick. On the incident report, it says this, this me, me asking her daughter to jack me off, which is basically what the little girl said. She said it, it, ha it started, she said it happened more than once. She said, so she said it happened in Darshell, my mother, the mother of my child. She said this happened from May, keep this in, in y'all mind, y'all, this date, it's on the incident report, May 6, 2019 to May 6, 2021. Let's connect some dates here. Let's get this in order. 
I haven't been with the mother of my child since January 2020. The last time I was around him, as in like being around him in a house situation, was in September 2020. All right? All right? So they just added a whole year on there when I wasn't even there, y'all. In the incident report, Darshell and the little girl said this took place all the way to May 6, 2021. Also, keep in mind, my son Zaza, these are all the lies, y'all. This is why I'm pointing them out. My son Zaza, Zara White, he was born April 8th, 2019. The mother of my child was in the hospital almost three weeks with preeclampsia after he was born. This is all hospital records. I was in the hospital every single day with her for three weeks while holding my son. The little girl and the little boy, they was with their daddy. So if you say this started May 6th, my son was a newborn. Your mother was recovering from preeclampsia and you was with your dad. Also, when y'all did come back to the house when we and your mom was together, I had a newborn baby. So at what point do I have time to ask your little 10 year old ass to jag my dick off when I got a newborn baby, a seven year old son I gotta take care of, plus her, the little girl, I was taking care of her, she got diabetes, y'all. I knew nothing about diabetes, but once I got with my baby mama, she taught me how to take care of her. So I learned how to like, she can't go under 80 or she can't go above 180. That's how good my heart is. That's who I am, nigga. Also, the mother of my child did not work, y'all. She didn't work at all. So that means you were there with us. We was never alone. And as the mother of my child, you said that you knew about this. The mother of my child said, she said, the mother of my child herself said, it happened on several occasions. So the mother of my child, so you mean to tell me you watched me ask your daughter to jag me off and you sat there? You was there, you watched it, and you ain't called the police. You ain't try to kill me or none of that. And then if you watch this take place, why when we broke up, I got all these messages from you begging me to come back. You threatening to put cases on me if I don't come back. I got the text. I'll be screenshotting those soon today so we can see the text. Come on, man. If I'm going to ask y'all to stand with me, I'm gonna, I want y'all to know everything that's going on. Why do you think I'm showing y'all the incident report, the text? I'm not going to ask y'all to stand with me and y'all don't know what's going on. I ain't fake like that. I'm a real one. Now I'm going to see who's going to stand with me or who's going to fall off. Because fuck this case. You can look past the case and you should know exactly what's going on. And me reading the incident report should just...